How's it going guys? I'm Stephen. Thanks for tuning in to our daily dog walk on Thursday the 3rd of March. It's the afternoon walk which means I'm out with the bigger guys and we've got eight dogs out today. I'll show you those guys and all our fun as we go around. Stay with us on this dog walk. We are going to talk about recall and recall basics. How to kind of really get that ingrained in your dog. If it's something that you don't have, if you haven't yet mastered, uh, then please watch this right to the end. One thing we maybe don't talk about, which I'll put a comment below to talk about is uh, the whistle. So if you get to the end of this video and go, but what about the whistle? I'll do another budget video for that one as well. Stay with us. Thanks for watching. What a great place to have a scratch, Max. Right in the mud. Out of the way the swans, come on. They're not for us to play with. Lottie, you know better. Good girl. Good, you guys. Good. Well done. Hey, Pablo. Good girl, Lily. Well done, sweetie. This is difficult. Come on in. Clever puppy. Good, you guys. Who's going up? Who is going up? Up. Good, you know. Good, Max. We just met Bruce, blonde lab, who is quite amazing. Seven months, a uh, lovely boy, and uh, the owners are having a bit of bother with his recall at the moment, which is uh, understandable for a lab and for a dog of that age. So we just got talking about it, and uh, we spoke about how much they were doing in the house, how many reps, how many effort, how much effort they were putting in, and uh, yeah. Maybe something for you guys to think about between now and me talking to the camera next. How much effort do you need to put in to get that right? Where will Lottie appear? There she is. Good girl. Get that ear up. Listening out for us. Good girl. Clever pup. Right, so what is recall? Recall is one of the dogs are far away and then you call them and they come back to you. Fairly straightforward concept, right? Fairly simple. Do you know? Well done. So how do you get to that when your puppy, all they want to do when they're allowed off the lead is just tear away from you? So that's the question. How much effort is required and what do you need to do? Ted. Well done, buddy. Good, you know. <laughs> sure. Good. Good biscuit. Barney, what have you picked up? It's like a thing from... It's not a lead. It's like from water skiing or something. So it snapped. Right, so going back to my points earlier, I would say, personally, that you need to practice something at least 100 times before the dog even sort of registers that that's something that we have to do. And you also have to start really small and inside the house and then try and take that exercise outside the house as well. So in something like recall, you break it down into sort of 10 attempts at just the dog recognizing his name or her name from like the distance of the couch to the TV, you know, and coming to you. And then we reward that with, yes, well done, good. All that kind of thing, all that positive reinforcement and positive body language. And, uh, and then we make it a bit more complex. The next 10 are a bit more complex. Maybe you're in a different room or uh, your partner calls them or something like that. So you get the idea. And then as we start to come outside and try that outside, we maybe put the dog in a long line. But we go right back to the very first uh, drill that you were doing. So 
you know, a couple of meters away, get the dog to come to you. Barney, Barney, what's this? Good boy, well done, good. Just as simple as that. And if they're on the long line and they don't do it, we can just give the long line just the tiniest of tug just to pull them in the right direction. Um, and we're still rewarding them every time they come to you. But it takes a lot of effort. And it really does take effort. And I said to the owners, Bruce's owners, and I was explaining to them how much effort I thought it would take. They were a bit startled by that. And uh, even though they're doing a lot of things really well with them, they're probably not pushing themselves hard enough, are they, sweetie? But we can get there with it, no doubt. All together, yes. We're enjoying this nice mild day, aren't we? Yes. We're splashing our paws, getting nice and clean. Oh, Barney boy, you are soaking. You're like a sponge. Oh, thank you, kid. Thank you. I needed that. I needed what uh, soaked. Thank you. Positivity. Patience. And don't be afraid to go back a step if it's not quite working out. You know, if, if, if you need to put the dog back on the long lead again, don't be bothered about that. We've got dogs that are on the long lead regularly, so it's not just because they're out with me that they're all of a sudden perfect. Um, so yeah, positivity. <laughs> Can you imagine if I went in the water there? It's a great exercise I like to do with the dogs. We'll do just now, together. Just lots of short, sharp changes of direction. This way! I'll keep the camera pointing the same way. Lily, come on! Good! This way! This way! This way! Good! 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 This way! Good! Well done, you guys! Good! Yes! And this way! We'll get a biscuit after that. We will do well. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Everyone tuned in to each other. Leave that biscuit, good boy. It's an amazing way to think about it. Every time your dog chooses to respond to its name and come to you, like they've picked you, they have picked you over every other distraction that's out there. You celebrate that. Be proud of your dog and let them know that they've done well. All right, this isn't staged. I genuinely don't know where. Lottie or Juno are. So let's see if we can uh, get them. Cover your ears. <whistles> Lottie, Juno! There's the galloping sunset. Good. Where's your sidekick? She's coming. Can we see her in the distance? When can we see her? When's the resolution good enough? Now? Sit down. Good girls. Brilliant weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.